How's it going, everybody? ISTrooper31 here, and welcome to the Netherlands at Rotterdam as we take on Fairnord in the Europa League group stage. Take a look at the table. Fairnord are top of the table. We're in third place. We need to win. That's no. If we don't win, we're pretty much out of it. And the lineup for the uh, home side, Feyenoord. We drew with them in uh, Rome, I believe. It was a tightly contested affair. And for Lazio, we've struggled in the last few episodes, but today we got to put that behind us and get the win. Uh, first teams play in this match just because of the severity of it. Oh, DeVree, why did you fall down? Oh, dear. And within minutes, Farnord have got on the board. DeVree did a just, a just an idiotic challenge, trying to jump at the ball, and he fell down, and that space opened up, and Farnord buried it. First shot of the game goes into the net. And another shot goes up and over. Oh, it's a heavy ball in. A Barbo. Barbo. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Barbo had the turn, had the shot, just couldn't bury it. Nice effort, falling away, but the keeper makes the save. Ah, uh, good job, DeVry. That's a good interception. That's it for the first half. And uh, what can you say? Farnord got out the gate strong. We are just, like, flopping like a fish here when we need to get the win. 1-0 at the break. The strike. Oh, just wide. What a strike there. Oh, what a ball. Good. For crying out loud. And it's a red card. Ranicho is gone. For crying out loud, guys. What do I have to do to defend? Ranicho, a reckless challenge in the box. Strike. Oh. Eesh. Hits me with the chip. No, oh boys, looks like our Europa League journey for this season is over and done with. They chipped us right down the middle with the cheek. I am awfully salty after that one, boys. Salty after that chip. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Now they're going to dink us with long balls. It's a great long ball. Oh, my goodness. Nice strike there. Just goes wide. Nice. Get there. Chip it up. A barbo. Yes! There's one back. A barbo. Finds the back of the net on a headed goal, which we haven't had hardly any go in this season. But a barbo made sure he buried that one. Great cross in for Fernandez. And we're back in it. We play that nice little lofted chip shot. Cross into the box. Barbo out jumped the defender and into the back of the net. Now they come, they're gonna come on the break here. Oh. Nothing we can do there. We only got three in the back. Farinord find the back of the net once again. Just beat us on the rush there. It was a lovely ball in. Brivo did everything he could to get his foot to it, but that's just an easy tap in for a goal. 
Oh, DeVree, why did you get out of position there? Oh, nice try, Brevo. And it's 4-1. The numbers is just too much for us to overcome. It was a great effort to get that ball clear, but it fell right to the feet of the def attacker trailing, and he buried it. Great shot, great finish. And there's the final whistle. Not much to say. Just got beat. Game didn't want us to win. Bottom line. Couldn't found one goal, but they scored two more or three in that half. Just got pretty much dominated that match. What can I say? Now it shot us nearly two to one. It's so many shots on target, but a lot of that had to do with our being down to 10 men. Ranachoa, our defenders were not playing well in this match. No fouls called whatsoever for Feyenoord. Not happy about that. And obviously getting sent off was not ideal. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got whooped. Yeah, that's... That's a good way to say it. I did get whipped that match. I got whipped like a stuffed pig. So, what, what, what do you expect? It's Lazio for crying out loud. They're just stinking up the joint. There's nothing I can really do to change that at this point in time. Backline stunk. Midfield did not play particularly well. Ranachoa is going to be suspended, so... Is there going to be a match where I could play my full 11 for like maybe like two matches in a row instead of, you know, filling all these injuries and suspensions? I mean, we didn't get an injury this time, thank goodness, but great goal from a Barbo. It's great to see he at least hooked up with Fernandez and got a goal, but there's not much we can do on that one. On to the next match. The sun is shining at the Olympico, but not on Lazio as we get to take on title contenders Juve. Take a look at the table. They're in second place. They're doing what they have, and they haven't lost a match all year. We are in 17th and only won three matches in, on the year. And there's Lazio. Not a lot of, I think, pretty much the same lineup as last time. We played uh, Fairnor, but Manala starting in Cam. Take a look at Juve, and what a stacked lineup there is. Carlos Tev is such a beast in this game. Lorente is also a danger man. Paul Pogba in the middle, and David De Gea is in net for them. Oh, Carlos Tevez. Oh, Carlos Tevez, that's dangerous. Marchetti, big save. Antics having his hands full. Carlos Tevez, man, what a strike, man. Ugh. Oh, it's a poor tackle. Vardy's going to have to rush to get back. You can see it coming a mile away, and my guys cannot get back fast enough. That's a goal. Just found the space down the wing. Just utterly beat us, and uh, Lorente was left wide open in the box. Again, DeVree not marking his man properly. Just... Oh, Manala, the shot to Gea. What a save. Oh, my goodness. We couldn't have played that any better, and De Gea still saved it. Manala hit it first time, but De Gea was up for the save. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's a goal. I called it. Called it again. Tevez finds that halftime whistle cheese right there on the break. I mean, it was a missed tackle, but I called that one. It was. I saw Tevez making the run, and I'm like, yep, that's a goal. Last kick of the half. Come on. FIFA, fix your game. For crying out loud. 
How many times am I going to see the goal at the very last kick of a half or a game? This is just... Oh, this is why I hate this game. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no one's going to guard Parkba. That's fine. Thanks, Marchetti. You're the only good player on this team. Yeah, because of... And then the kickoff cheese as well. Five shots on target. And Tevez nearly buried that one. Oof. He's the shortest guy out there, and we can't even out-jump him for a ball. We're just falling over. Oh, nice play. Lombardi finish it. Oh, De Gea again makes a great save. Great pass. I really didn't see Lombardi on the wing there. I was looking for a Barbo, but Lombardi was there, and De Gea makes the save again. Not, oh, nice run by Antic, and again, De Gea makes a save. Oh, we're getting chances from distance, but De Gea is turning him away. It was kind of a low dribbler, but it still was going on net. Barbo makes a turn. Headed effort. Oh, there it is, Pereira. We found one. We got one back. Barbo finds Pereira. Great one, too. Great turn. Got around his defender, and he just dinked it in there with a the cross. And Pereira hit it the, the other way from De Gea to make sure he didn't get it. Although he almost did get it that time. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Oh, Pereira. Finish it, Pereira. Oh, he hit the post. Oh, my goodness. Pereira got around his man, but he nailed the post. Unlucky. Well, I couldn't find an equalizer. Ends 2-1. Played all right. Actually, we played decent, but... You know, defense let us down again. We couldn't overcome a two-goal deficit. It's another loss. Put it on the board. It's hard to take a lot of positives out of that match. They were just clinical. They were much more clinical, much more pacey, much better. So they were the better side, as they usually are. But I felt like second half, we did a much better job shutting them down. All the way. The sliders we got now work pretty well. Um, just a shame. We had so many chances that De Gea saved. But uh, a lot better effort the second half. Just a little too late for us to do anything about it. Man of the match goes to Beardardi. Yeah, well, he had an assist. But I thought De Gea was probably their man of the match. He was just absolutely a beast in net. We couldn't get anything by him. Marchetti had a great game. Back line did all right. Did better the second half. But uh, great wing play from a Barbo to Para on that goal. But only getting one goal a match just isn't cutting it for us this year. We're just not scoring enough. But anyway, that's going to end the episode there, guys. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the sliders we've been using, because the last few episodes we have been swapping around the sliders a little bit, trying to fine-tune them slowing down the pace of the, the game um i'll try to remember to post a link you can check them out in operation sports but these are kind of modified a modified set so if i remember i'll put it in the description below but anyway guys like thank you so much for watching and until next time this is ice 31 and hopefully i'll see you around